years of experience um, tell me when one of my stories is finished. Um, and I, I suppose that's the answer, experience um, or instinct. Um, and maybe you get that instinct through experience. Um, I think you shouldn't say that it's finished and, and send it out anywhere until you're pretty damn sure that it's finished and that you've made it as as good and it's as polished as possible. But at the same time, nor do I believe that you should hang on to it for absolutely ever uh, in a sort of overly perfectionist manner because you can't bear to let go of it. At some point you have to let go of it and say, that's it, that's what I've done, and see what somebody else thinks of it. Don't write so much, make it shorter. It's always going to be better, shorter. Be absolutely ruthless. Cut, cut, cut and cut again and end up with something better. Uh, I've long believed, and, uh, and I'm not the only one who believes this, William Trevor believes this and has said so, that the most important words are not those on the page or on the screen, but those that you leave out, um, because you want the reader to supply those. If I write for a whole day, then the beginning of my writing on the second day will, will be the first half an hour or an hour will be spent going over what I wrote the day before. Um, so I edit a lot as I go along and I, and I do, you can't overstress the importance of editing um, your own work. Um, you need to have a highly critical eye, you need to question absolutely every single word, phrase, um, you need to read out loud because if you don't read out loud you will miss all sorts of awkward phrases, you will miss repetition, you will miss um, simple mistakes and typos. The perfect short story is one that makes you want to read it again the moment you've finished it and ideally it has made you feel something. Um, so that, and, and I gave you an actual example, that, but I mean I could give you a million examples of stories that I've loved and, and stories that, that have that magic ingredient that make you want to read it again the moment you've finished it. The story that I've read in, in recent months or years that I think is the best story that I've read in that time is a story called When the Door Closed It Was Dark uh, by Alison Moore and it was a story I was uh, lucky enough to publish as a Nightjar Press chapbook. And it does something very clever, but not in a clever, clever, oh, clever, clever, oh, look at me sort of way. In, instead, it, it, it works extremely subtly. You, you read it on two levels simultaneously, and you, you get to the end and you think, oh, hang on, um, what's actually going on here? And then you, you realise and you start to reread and... And the more, you, the more times you reread, the more you get out of that story. My favourite of my own stories, uh, I think, is a story that um, I wrote last year or the year before called The Lure. Uh, and now it's quite long for me. It's about seven or 8,000 words, and normally my stories are between two and 4,000. Um, so quite long, but uh, I was just very, very happy with it. It created a mood that I think was sustained throughout the story and it had um, it had a sort of sense of doubt running through it. You didn't quite know what was going on um, and your uncertainty mirrored the protagonists or the narrator's uncertainty. He didn't know what was going on either and then when he discovers what's going on it's a shock. special intimacy between writer and reader in the case of a short story and that's partly because um, you tend to read the short story in one go. Um, you don't tend to do that with novels. Some people do or, or claim to. Um, 
personally I don't believe them or I don't believe they've read those novels properly. Um, a story, however, 10 pages, 20 pages, you'll most likely read it in one go, and that, I believe, creates a very special intimacy between the writer and the reader. Um, and that I, that, I think, is what's special about the story, and therefore that's why you should read stories. I think you should just write your story as well as you can write it, do as good a job as you can do, uh, and remove from your mind all thoughts of prizes and even publication, um, and even an ideal reader, which some people tend to have in their minds. In my view, you shouldn't have any of that going on. You should just be thinking about the story and making as good a go of it as you possibly can. Hurts just to breathe every time.